Dale Earnhardt Jr., driver of the number 88 National Guard Chevrolet. This is Dale's second victory and ninth top 10 finish in 2014. It's also his first multiple win season since 2004 when he had six victories. Dale, congratulations. Why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit about how the race unfolded for you today? Um, we had a... Uh we had a real good car in practice yesterday. Felt pretty comfortable. Uh, throughout the race, we had a pretty fast car. We were mired in, uh, you know, fifth or sixth place for the most part of the day. But I knew that our speed was good. And it just really come down to who was going to be leading on that last restart. That guy was going to be the guy that was going to be hard to beat. It's real hard to pass here. And I knew that dirty air was going to be uh, a big challenge for anybody. So uh, if you get that clean air, like Brad did, uh, he was going to be hard. You know that was what that was what gonna was going to win the race. So you know I tried as hard as I could on those restarts to do, do anything that I thought could give me a shot to get by him. But he was very uh, very strong entering the corner, especially. So it was hard for me to do anything on restarts. He would get clear pretty easily, but. Uh, with about uh, eight laps to go, Steve said he was complaining about his temperatures. He had a lot of stuff on his grill. And I thought, you know, I thought for sure he wasn't going to, you know, do do anything like he did in turn one. I thought he'd just go ahead and motor on and just see, hopefully, hopefully the engine made it. But uh, we got down into turn one. He chased up, the, we went up the racetrack to chase that lap car and, and, and try to get that stuff off his grill. I guess he felt like, uh, I don't know what his temperatures were, but they must have been very, very hot for Brad to do that. And I knew right then when he did that, he was so slow. I thought, yeah, we're going to pass him. This is going to, we're going to take the lead. We're going to have four laps to go. And if I just run tidy corners, that he would have trouble. He would have trouble with the dirty air. And wouldn't be able to get to us any. And I probably ran, uh, I probably underdrove the car a little bit there at the end, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Because if he did get to us, he was, he was going to be challenging because I think he had a little bit better car there at that particular point. So I just had to keep him in dirty air and, and keep him back there, and he wasn't going to get within a couple car lengths, I didn't think.